Hey guys, um, decided that I have some extra time today so I'll throw out one more review. Uh, I looked over my videos and saw that I never did a review of Online Armor Plus Plus by itself. I did an old Versus uh, review when I versed it against Komodo, but I never just did one by itself. So I went and downloaded the version off of their website, the trial version. I uh, updated it. It's got the newest version. Um, the thing is with plus plus what you get is you get a firewall you get hips and you get two antivirus engines you get the one from a squared and icarus uh... everything is left just like it comes when it installs itself standard mode everything and um, here i decided from now on i'm gonna change up the way i do my testing a little bit i got my testing tools folder here what i'm gonna do is after i um, run the test I'm going to scan with the program, see if it finds anything. Then I'm going to run uh, C Cleaner, and then after that, I'm going to run my three apps to see if anything's left over. That way, there won't be any more problems with temporary internet files, temp files, whether they're real or not. I'll just make sure C Cleaner gets rid of everything, and then uh, from there, proceed with Malwarebytes and all that fun stuff. So I went and got some new links to test out here. So let's get going here. Okay, this one right here. This is uh, this is fine. This is just uh, it's about to set Internet Explorer as the default search page. Okay, here we go. Infected program wants to run. It's got a Trojan, so we'll block that. The one thing I don't, I'm not a fan of at Online Armor is their pop-ups they're really wordy and um, you really have to hunt for the information and I'm not a fan of these pastel colors I want this information to be condensed and I want it to be to stand out like what should I do I mean these things should stand out to me a little bit more it's not a very um, user-friendly application it's more for advanced users and overall the whole application, the whole user interface just seems really about 10 years old. It just seems outdated. Okay, another infected program. So far it's got everything. You can see it's sometimes it's checking its database, the Oasis database so you can see it's also got a uh, run safer um, which is uh, basically a setting where you can run the program but you run it with um, limited rights in case you're not sure if the program is safe or not it's always an option okay program wants to run and depends uh, doesn't know anything about this program yet. Doesn't have a signature against it. The parent program. Uh, what you want to do with it. Let's see what happens if I hit run safer. Program wants to run. Once again, it's the same thing, so we'll run safer. So then you can block it. Okay, so so how that works. Okay, I don't use online armor pretty much ever. So even though I allowed some of those things, it should still be protecting uh, because I didn't allow it to get too far. I just allowed it to run but run safer. I wanted to test to see how the run safer thing would actually work. Okay, so it doesn't know what to do about this program. This is just like that last one, so we'll block it. We'll keep going here. 
that one's okay once again that uh, crack program okay. so a couple of these didn't have signatures but the hips uh, protected the system as you can see when it doesn't have a signature for it it checks with the uh, database and then the database responds back on there you go it responds on what it is this is an infected program you can see this was found by the Icarus engine because this ends in IK so you can kinda tell how some of those signatures if they're an Icarus signature that's how it pops up and last one here I think if I remember right, this is a Java exploit. Okay, here you go. Dangerous web content. Dangerous uh, object. What do you want to do? If you trust website, we don't trust it, so we'll block it. And then that program wants to run, so we will block that. And that was an exploit right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Online Armor and do a scan. So I will be back when the scan is done. Okay, so I did a scan here with uh, the AV, and it found some temporary net files, so we will just delete those. Okay, so that's all done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart, and then I'm going to run uh, a portable version of CCleaner and clean out the temp files, and I'll also make sure to uncheck the advanced setting uh, where it keeps this, the newest uh, temp files for 24 hours so to make sure to get rid of everything so, and when that's done I'm gonna install Malwarebytes and run a scan so I'll see you after that okay I want to show you guys here that only delete uh, files older than 24 hours is unchecked and we will run the cleaner just so you guys can see that I'm not doing anything funny okay so I got rid of 6.83 megabytes and now I'm gonna run uh, Malwarebytes so I will be back uh, when that's done. Okay, so Malwarebytes uh, finished scanning here and it did not find anything. So I'm going to move on with portable version of Komodo Cloud Scanner. So I'll be right back. I have to update it here if it's got any updates or anything. And then I will be back when that's done scanning. Okay, so um, Komodo is done scanning here and did not find any malware or suspicious files so that's good and lastly I'm gonna run uh, Hitman Pro here and give that a scan and I'll be back when that's done alright so there you go um, Hitman Pro did not find anything so my verdict is um, on malware detection and the ability to keep the system safe online armor did very well um, the only problems that I see are two one is the user interface it's very old at least it seems to be um, and for the average user it's complicated the you know that's kinda keeping them back from becoming more popular and another thing is those pop-ups are way too complicated for an average user um, they really need to do something at making those easy to understand um, and just make the program overall easier to use so you know grandma and grandpa if they install it they can easily use it and keep their system safe um, other than that though the program worked beautifully um, from now on I'm actually gonna keep using that style these uh, testing tools that I have I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep using Komodo System uh, Cloud Scanner, but we'll see if I find anything else that I like. And I also want to show you guys here kind of the RAM usage we got. Let's see where that right there. So you got what uh, about 10 megs total if you add everything together, something like that. So that's not bad. All right, so uh, that's it for this review. Who knows when I'm going to get another one out? Everybody, take care and have a good night.